China could claim parts of the moon. China, within the last decade, has had enormous success and advances in its space program. Beijing's space program has achieved enormous success over the past decade, Agency Chief Bill Nelson acknowledges. Of NASA, of course, China may try to gain control of the most resource-rich locations of the moon if it wins the competition against the U.S. for Earth's only planetary mass, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said. China may try to gain control of the most resource-rich locations. Is It is a fact. We're in a space race, Nelson said in an interview with Politico on Sunday. He said, and it's true that we were, we better watch out that they, China, don't get to a place on the moon under the guise of scientific research, and it's not beyond the realm of possibility that they say, keep out, we're here, this is our territory, he warned. The problem is that there are only so many places on the south pole of the moon that are adequate for what we think at this point, for harvesting water and so forth, the head of the U.S. space agency said. As a justification for its claim, he cited that Beijing's conduct on Earth, quote, if you doubt that, look at what they did with the Spratty Islands, end quote. The South China Sea archipelago, that's contested by other nations, but where the Chinese military has established bases, Nelson said. In 2019, China became the first country to perform a soft landing on the far side of the moon as part of its Chang-4 robotic mission. It was later able to deliver lunar samples back to Earth. Beijing says it expects to put a man on the moon before 2030 and later to establish a scientific research station there. In the past few years, the China National Space Administration, CNSA, has also successfully sent an orbiter and a rover to Mars and launched its National Space Station into Earth orbit. China, within the last decade, has had enormous success and advances in its space program, Nelson acknowledged. However, he still expressed confidence that NASA has what it takes to win the race again and fulfill its set goal of sending a crewed mission to the moon in 2025. Beijing has, on numerous occasions, denied U.S. accusations of having an insidious agenda behind its space program. In August, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian said that outer space is not a wrestling ground, but an important field for win-win cooperation. The exploration of the cosmos is humanity's common endeavor and should be in benefit all, Zhao said, adding that China has committed to the peaceful use of space, it was committed to this peaceful, is committed to the peaceful use of space and to cooperation with other countries. And this is on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.